So welcome back to you and welcome to Yvonne Jenkins again of uh, pinkindustrials.org and this is a first of our series of um, videos that are looking specifically about pensions and I know we're going to look at state pensions to begin with. So um, Yvonne, let's imagine I've just got a state pension, tell me about what, what have I got? What's going on? Okay, well um, everybody in the UK is entitled to a state pension. Uh, the amount of the state pension you get, though, will depend on how many years of national insurance contributions you've actually put into the state scheme. Um, and as we know, you know, a lot of women, they do have a number of years out um, to have children, to bring up children. Um, and then in the sort of back end, if you like, too, very often it comes down to women in the family to become carers for elderly people. So often they're out of the workforce again. So, in fact, only 16% um, of women in total are actually entitled to the full state pension. And how much is the full state pension? Well, the full state pension for the year 2012-2013 for a single person is actually £107.45. Mm. Um, That's actually not going to go that far, is it? Really? No. I mean, you're not going to get your round-the-world cruises and things and mm. living up the high life um, on that sort of money. But having said that, it is paid until you actually die. So from state pension age, it is paid right up until the day you die. Um, and it does at least form, you know, the foundations of your pension planning. I think everyone nowadays is pretty much aware, though, that they can't just rely on the state pension, um, you know, to live a really good high standard of living in retirement. You do have to do other things if you possibly can okay. to supplement to you. And if for some reason you can't, or you've left it too late, and you only have the state pension, what sort of things can you do to, to help that? Well, if you've had time out to raise children, or if you're a carer um, and you're actually recognised as a carer, or if you're on state benefits, um, there is this um, claim that you can actually put in. It's a Home Responsibilities Protection, HRP it's called. And basically what that will do will make up the shortfall in your national insurance contributions whilst you're having time out to raise the children or to be a carer or when you're on state benefits. So you can go through and actually get that. The other thing I'd suggest everybody does probably is actually to go through to one of the government websites and actually get a state pension forecast. So, you know, you can put in your personal details and it will churn out um, where you are at the moment. And then you can actually use that to evaluate whether you can go, you want to go and actually up or actually make up the shortfall mm -hmm. in your national insurance contributions or whether you want to do something else. Um, there's a couple of sites, www.direct.gov.uk, um, you can go into, or the other one is www.pensionservice.co.uk. And those are very good, informative, government-based websites that will give you a lot of information on state pensions. Okay, thank the, you. As one point more, I will just say, and um, there's a lot of confusion now about when, indeed, the state pension is to be paid. You know, it used to always be 65 for men, 60 for women. Well, that's all been changing in the last few years, simply because... It costs the government a lot to provide state pensions, and people are now living to older and older ages. Mm -hmm. So, in the next few years, on a sort of scale going right through to 2018, by 2018, both men and women will actually be getting state pensions at 65. And by the time we get to 2028, a bit of a <coughs> scary concept, um, we'll all have to wait till we're 67 to actually get the state pension. So, again, we're having to wait longer and longer which is all indicating to us, really, we cannot rely just on the state to provide for us in retirement. We have to look at doing a few other things as well. Yeah, okay, great. Thanks, Yvonne, for that. And uh, look forward to the next one. Next video is going to be about... Company pensions. Company pensions. There you go.